Oh, yeah. I want to try myself a few. I got a soul. And I'm super bad. Hey, we got Gerald Salente here with us. I love this guy. And, of course, you're one of my mom's favorite guests. I think I talk to people, who's your favorite guest? Most of them say, oh, I like Gerald Salente. And then next, it's I like Max Kaiser and I like... Uh, Ron Paul, on and on and on. But Gerald Salente is an American <laughs> trends forecaster, publisher of the Trends Journal, business consultant, uh, an author who makes predictions about the global financial markets and other events of historical importance. Salente has described himself as a political atheist and a citizen of the world. He has appeared on everything from BBC to NBC Nightly News to CBS, Fox, TrendsResearch.com, TrendsJournal.com. Both those will take him to his site. And he's here to be part of Obama Deception 2 that comes out in October or November. Probably early November because I'm just getting so many interviews and so much research. It's going to be the best film ever. Uh, the very powerful. Wake folks up. You're here. Uh, and we really appreciate you being in town. I've met you in person a few times before, but uh, you've taken me around New York and stuff. But here you are in Austin, Texas, my friend. Well, I have to say, I, I'm really thankful that you invited me, number one. And number two, you know, I've been on everybody's show from Oprah, the Today Show, CNN, you name it, and, um, and around the world. And I have to say, your studios here are as great as anything else out there. And I'm really, really... Uh, Impressed about uh, the, the great operation that you have, the staff that you have, the um, professionalism. It's, it's first rate, and, and uh, it, it compares, and now I know why, uh, that um, you, so many people listen to you and follow you, because this is a first-rate operation. Well, we're trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. I'm kind of the weak link, but uh, we're, um, in, we're building the new studio. I've got the uplinks ready, a bunch of other stuff I'm going to have to really hustle to raise the money to get this completed. But by next year, we probably will be uh, to the next level of, of reaching more than 15 million people a week. We're already reaching that. But I want to just double that because I don't want to just fight these people and, and do half measures. That's what I like about you is that you're doing the same thing, Gerald. You're escalating what you're doing. You're doubling down on America. You're not fleeing. I want to get into all the news and your analysis. But first, uh, let's talk about why I'm interviewing you for the Obama deception. I mean, you're you're saying you're not fleeing. A lot of big guys have been leaving the U.S. quietly. We're not going to say their names. Uh, you've you've talked about doubling down. Yes, I have. But before we do that, I, I'd also like to say, in seeing the effort that you're doing and what it takes for everybody out there to li that's listening, to do what you can to support this and uh, the people that that are speaking out and aren't afraid to speak out, because if you look at the other side. I mean, you were talking about the Obama deception. How about this for a deception? Remember when Obama was running in 2008 and he said he would never accept a penny of outside money and only the people's money and wouldn't take money from special interests? And of course, who funds his campaigns are the special interests. So if you're a special interest out there in the interest of living a life of dignity and respect and in an America that you were taught to love because of the fundamentals upon which it was built. You know, this is really a time to put your money where your mouth is. And, you know, we, we need support from the people, we the people. And uh, so in seeing your operation and seeing what it takes to, to make it happen, I really urge everyone out there to do what they can at any level that they can. If you're going to support a politician, man, woof. And you should be supporting something that's going to help you. And, the, and, and this is the kind, I was listening to Ben Fuchs as I was waiting to go on the air. You know, I have an honorary doctorate in complementary medicine from the National University of Health Sciences. And I'm listening to this interview. I said, wow, this guy really knows his stuff. And, and, and the information, the quality information that you put out that you can't get anywhere else. So, again, you know, I urge everyone, and particularly now seeing your operation, what it takes to make this happen, to do what they can to buy the products that you sell and support... Uh, prisonplanet.com in any way that they can. Well, thank you. Uh, I mean, look, I, I could have big giant you know, mansions and just be a talk show host and have, you know, a, a jet probably. But instead, I've made the decision to fight tyranny. So I'm putting technically about 120 percent of my earnings right now. I'm putting money that we put as backup into trying to just build this up and go to the next level because that's what I want. I want to beat these people. I want the mercury out of the shots. I want the fluoride out of the water. I want the estrogen mimickers out of the plastic. I want our troops to come home. I want the Federal Reserve to be kicked out of the country. I want our nation back. Uh, I want the warmongers in jail. I mean, that's what I'm after. I'm not after going to globalist confabs and feeling powerful or having a butler on a private jet. 
I'm after going 110% after these globalists. I know you've been at the highest levels of things, Gerald. You've seen how the establishment operates, how they're so entitled. People on, you know, $25 million jets with butlers. And it's like, man, but could care less about what's happening to the world around them. And this stuff even blows back on the elite's kids. They're not getting away with this world they're creating. You can see everything's starting to unravel. And it's crazy. And I can't imagine the middle class, but even nouveau riche and old money that's being fed on by the globalist. They're all just, in a lot of cases, giving up, not believing they have any power. When if I'm just some guy from Texas, in 18 years I've been able to do this, I want to do 10 times this. Well, what is wrong with people? Well, there's a lot wrong. and, and what, But there's a lot wrong and there's a lot right. Oh, I agree. A lot of folks waking up. It's yeah, just been, you know. and and um, you know we we did a in the last trends journal. The I don't want to hear a trend. People don't want to hear it. They they don't want to hear of something that breaks their belief system. They don't want to hear something that may upset them because they feel powerless to do anything. But again, you know the when you talk about the American Revolution, and and we could talk about that as well because it leads into the question that you first asked me. Uh, how many people began the American Revolution? What was it a couple of percentage? That was one percent, and then three, and then five won it. Yeah, and then only I think at the height of it, only about forty-five percent of the people supported it. Yeah, that's right. I mean, just just you gave moral support. Moral support. Yeah. So it doesn't take it takes a small number, and then if people could really understand what the opposition looks like, all they have to do is open their eyes. How can anybody, you know, hail to the chief? I don't care who the chief is. How could they? How could they clap and applaud for, for, for Senator Harry Reid or Mitch McConnell? How could they look up to Boner or Bonner or McCain? How can, how can they genuflect to their, to their con man in chief, whoever it might be? You know, what, what's wrong with people? How have they lost their dignity? This is the level of people that we're talking about. And I'm saying that we don't have to listen to them. There's a quote in, in preparing for the show and, and looking over different things. Uh, when President Obama was saying that how he was going to win the Afghan war, people forget this, uh, back in 2009 when they had the troop surge, 33,000 more troops, Hillary uh, Clinton said, you know, he's not concerned about what the polls show. You know, the people are disgusted with the war, essentially. Oh, no, we don't count. Don't look at the polls. We don't count. Vast majorities are against the war, but in America with a K in it, it doesn't count anymore. And I remember him saying that. If you go back to any culture thousands of years ago, if a king lost a war, he would have to abdicate and step down or a new dynasty would come in. Because even if people were barbarous, they didn't like losers. On top of it, these people are losers. That's they what I'm saying. They're losers. They lose everything. There's nothing that you could put your finger on that says, hey, look at the great success. Let's put them up again in the cleanup spot, you know? So that's what I'm saying. The New World Order are losers, who, losers. who have made themselves too big to fail. I was just watching a congressional hearing during the break in there, and, and they were, they even the congressmen were admitting, we've made you too big to fail, that's now the standard, and, and you banks are taking over. Yeah, so what, what I'm saying is that if people would realize that the enemy is really not an enemy, they're just letting people run them and control them because they don't have the courage to say no. But now the courage is coming along. More people are saying no. And you're leading the charge as well as I and others. Believe me, I don't want to lead it. It's dangerous. <laughs> well, again, I know it too. You know, I, I, I realize it. I get, you know, I get my share of, of things. But going back to what you saw what I'm doing, I just bought recently three buildings on the most historic corner in the United States. Matter of fact, listeners could go to Ulster Magazine, U-L-S-T-E-R Magazine.com. It's Ulster County, New York. And it's in Kingston, New York. Colonial Kingston. Is the magazine out yet? I had a chance. It's out, yeah. There will be FedExing a copy. We should be getting it soon. But it's on the stands out in New York now. And it's on their website. And what, what Kingston was the first capital of New York State. The British burnt it down in, 1970, in 1777. And these are the houses that predated the burning, and they were, some of them were rebuilt. But I came back from Berlin, and it's about not leaving. And uh, last year, not this past June, but the June before, I came back on June 20, April, excuse me, April 23rd of 2012. And after being in Berlin, I, I realized, I said, you know, this Berlin had to be at the top of Western civilization in the 1930s. 
I mean, you think of the... There was. Right? It's culturally, philosophically. Scientifically. Scientifically. And you think of the German names, not for nothing, you know, Bach, Beethoven, Goethe, Einstein, Wagner. And, and, I, and here's what you see, Alex. I, you know, I spent a lot of time in Europe, and to me, Berlin was grander than Paris before it was bombed out. And you see a beautiful stone, beautiful, gorgeous building from 1880 in Berlin. And then you see all new construction that from burnt, blommed out from World War II, and then an old building. And this footprint is, re, is repeated everywhere. And I'm thinking to myself, how could the Germans let this happen to them? How could they let a two-bit freak destroy their country? And that's how, and then I'll keep going on and tell you the rest of the story of why I bought, and that's what inspired me to stay in America and not let any two-bit freak throw me out. Exactly. Exactly. We're not going to put up with it. We're going to kick the New World Order out. Hi, Ted Anderson, president of Midas Resources. With over 30 years of experience in the precious metals business, I can tell you without a doubt, we are facing the most dangerous and volatile times, not just in the United States, but worldwide. Peace of mind is gold and silver. Now is the time to invest in gold. When it comes to bullion coins, our prices are competitive and the closest to melt. If it's numismatics you're looking for, we have some of the best deals out there. Visit MidasResources.com today or go to Infowars.com and click on the link to see our daily specials. Here's an example of one of our long-term specials we've been offering for more than a year. Two silver dollars from the turn of the last century, plus two powerful films, The Obama Deception and The American Dream. We also add in the book Dishonest Money, all for $72 and free shipping. The most trusted name in precious metals is Midas Resources. Call 1-800-686-2237 or go to Infowars.com. I'm Ted Anderson with Midas Resources. Sources. We are now only entering the edge of a global financial superstorm, the likes of which the planet has never seen. Here in the United States, the private Federal Reserve is giving more than $85 billion of taxpayer money a month to themselves and other offshore foreign banks. And the worst part is, we have to pay the bank's interest on the money we give them. There is now a race between the global central bank mafia cartels to see who can devalue their country's currencies the fastest. We are already seeing big increases in inflation at the grocery store and the gas line. This will eventually lead to hyperinflation. More than a dozen top globalists like George Soros have been buying record amounts of gold while at the same time bad-mouthing it to the public. Don't just listen to what they say. Watch what they do. For more than 6,000 years of recorded human history, gold has been the ultimate hedge against uncertain times and inflation. Before investing in metals, it is important to do your own research and find a reputable company. Midas Resources has the highest Better Business Bureau rating of an A+. Unfortunately, very few precious metal companies can boast that. Midas Resources has assembled one of the most educated, researched, and professional teams of brokers in the industry. The evidence is overwhelming. In uncertain times, gold and silver is safe harbor. Now is the time to invest in gold. Call 800-686-2237 and Midas Resources will mail you 10 reasons to own gold absolutely free. No shipping. It's absolutely free. And finally, Ted Anderson wants to challenge you to find any deal that comes close to his two silver dollars at cost with free shipping, with two free films and a book for $72. That's more than $160 value for $72 shipping included. Click the link at Infowars.com to go to the MidasResources.com specials page. Brought to you by MidasResources.com and Ted Anderson. The trusted name in precious metals. Jimmy Vaughn bringing us in. And we have returned, ladies and gentlemen. Better watch it. Gerald will start dancing again if you're a TV viewer. At Infowars.com forward slash show, you got to see some of Gerald's dancing at the start of the show here. That's right. You got a boogie before the legs go out. <laughs> All right. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we got a long segment coming up, but let's start finishing up your story. So you're in Berlin, beautiful architecture, but almost all of it completely destroyed, bombed out from the bombing and the Russians coming in. 20 million Germans died one way or another. So they say it's 21 million. 
uh, for following Hitler, but it was the banksters that created the Versailles Treaty and the atmosphere that allowed it, and it just shows the very same crews today. So continue. And then I thought to myself, you know, I'm of Italian descent. And during the same time, I mean, you think of the Italian names, you know, uh, Puccini, Rossini, Michelangelo, Da Vinci. I mean, we have quite a history. We eat a lot better than the Germans. How can they let a cartoon character like Mussolini destroy their country? And so I came back on April 23rd, and it was a for sale sign on the Franz Rogan house. That's one of the ones in the magazine. It was built in 1750. And I said to myself, and I was down in Argentina, as you know, in Chile, and I was getting out of here. I was going to Uruguay. I said, I had enough of this crap. When the earthquake happened. Yeah, right. I was on the 14th floor of the Crown Plaza Hotel. And I was looking to leave. And I said to myself, you can't run away. There are two-bit freaks everywhere. We have them right here. You want to see some two-bit freaks? How about Bush? There's a two-bit freak for you in my book. How about Obama? Two-bit freak. How about Slick Willie Clinton? You want to see a freak? Roll them out. How about go down the list? Pelosi. One Janet Napolitano. Uh, you, uh, you the stuff those women uh, can, uh, settled in court with the stuff at the Justice Department, they're lunatics. They're lunatics. And that's what I'm trying to say. You go down. Oh, and how about that other guy before that? Cherkov? What was his name? Chertoff? The, the, the other the, before Napolitano. The guy under Bush. Chertoff, yeah. Yeah. The guy that was the, was the uh, consultant for... Uh, Naked body scanners. Yeah. So it's two-bit freaks everywhere. You cannot run away, is my belief. So I said, I'm staying. And so I bought that one building. And then as the story goes on... There's I, a magazine article about it. Let's put it on screen for folks. I, I bought the second building, the uh, Academy, 1774. And that was built in... Uh, that, that was where the... Um, uh, Governor Clinton, not this Clinton, went to school for the elites at the day. And then I bought the, the Dr. Jansen house. And I said to myself, this, this is the most historic four corners in the United States. It's the only place where there's a pre-revolutionary war stone building on each corner. And if this is where the first American Revolution had its roots, I want to see the second one. Again, it was the first capital. The British burned it. Yep. You are doubling, tripling down with everything you've got to stand exactly. your ground. And symbolically, we all need to dig our heels in and fight like Hades. We're not giving up. And, and, and I also realize if I was in, in Italy, I would never be the guy I am. I'm only uh, who I am because of the country that I come from. That allows me to be this person. I'm not locked in a cultured trap. I'm free, and I, don't, and I don't like people screwing with my freedom. And so I said, this is, again, this is where the first American Revolution had its roots. I want to see the second one, but of course, I don't want to see any violence. I want this to be an intellectual, a moral, a spiritual, a, 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 a renaissance. Withdrawing our consent and then building with art and culture the new world. Exactly. And just like what you're doing here with your studio. You know, and I'm trying to do this. No, I, I'm way. fully committed. My wife's as smart as I am or smarter. She's lived all over the world. And we've had real discussions about, look at our children. Let's get out of here. And I said, yeah, maybe we'll buy some time for a while. But the only way to beat this is let's double down. And so we've committed our family, the kids, everything. We're on the altar of liberty. Yeah. I've put my kids on it, everything. It's like. And with enough people behind us, we could change the course. Again, look who is rule, look at the people that are ruling us. What self-respecting human being would take these? And you don't have to go, look, go, go around the world. Hey, how about that guy, Hollande over there in France, Hollandaise? How turns out, turns out they're all exempt from the taxes in the Socialist Party with a 100% tax rate on the middle class. Did you see that? No, I missed that. I, I, no, that's CNBC. Folks, put it up. 100% tax rate. How's that sound? That's great. And then the Socialists are exempt. Yeah, yeah. And then you see the same thing. You go over to the UK, Cameron and, and Blair. I mean, look at these little boys, these little chicken hawks. Could you imagine these guys leading a charge? They have big mouths. All these people have big mouths. Hey, look, look, there they it is. Want to start Taxes on some wealthy French top 100% of income. Reuters. Yep. I can't even believe that. But, 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 but you saw where it came out where almost all the top socialists... They got Swiss bank accounts, don't pay taxes, but exactly. they're but they can't be in they're in control, so no one can stop them. They're not socialists, they're criminals. And then you pick up today's Wall Street Journal and you look at the front page, they're stopping them. The Portuguese are out in the streets. The Spanish are out in the streets. The Brazilians are out in the streets. People are taking Exactly, you predicted it. Stay there. We'll be right back with Gerald Salenti.
Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.